The Heat Will Kill You First, Life and Death on a Scorched Planet by Jeff Goodell is a harrowing exploration of the impacts of climate change on our planet, emphasizing the devastating consequences of rising temperatures. Goodell, an experienced journalist and author, presents a meticulously researched narrative that highlights the urgency of the climate crisis and the immediate threats it poses to human life, ecosystems, and global stability. Goodell begins by setting the stage with an overview of the current state of the planet's climate. He delves into the science behind global warming, explaining how the burning of fossil fuels and other human activities have led to an increase in greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and methane in the atmosphere. This, in turn, has caused a rise in global average temperatures, leading to phenomena such as melting ice caps, rising sea levels, and more extreme weather events. The book focuses on how these changes are not just future threats, but are already unfolding across the globe. Goodell recounts his travels to some of the most vulnerable regions, where he witnesses firsthand the effects of extreme heat. From scorching cities to drought-stricken farmlands, he paints a vivid picture of the difficulties people face as temperatures climb. He interviews scientists, policymakers, and ordinary citizens to get a nuanced view of the myriad challenges posed by the heat. In one stark example, Goodell explores the plight of communities in the Middle East and South Asia, where temperatures have soared to deadly levels, surpassing the human body's ability to cope with heat and humidity. These sweltering conditions have led to numerous deaths, disrupted livelihoods, and sparked mass migrations as people seek more habitable climates. Another significant aspect addressed in the book is the impact of heat on infrastructure and economies. Goodell explains how rising temperatures can cripple infrastructure designed for a cooler era from melting asphalt to distorted railway lines. He also looks at the effect on agriculture, with heat waves and changing precipitation patterns leading to crop failures and food insecurity, posing a severe risk to rural populations and challenging global food systems. The book delves into the political and social dimensions of the climate crisis as well. Goodell critiques the lack of decisive action by governments and international bodies, despite overwhelming evidence and the clear necessity for immediate, large-scale intervention. He highlights the unequal burden of climate change, pointing out that it is often the world's poorest who are most vulnerable to its effects, despite contributing the least to its cause. Goodell does not shy away from discussing potential technological and policy solutions, but he maintains a realistic perspective on their limitations. He examines advances in renewable energy, energy efficiency, and adaptive infrastructure, as well as climate policies like carbon pricing and emissions reductions. At the same time, he warns that the window for effective action is closing fast, and that without a profound shift in how we approach the crisis, the consequences could be catastrophic. One of the most illuminating parts of the book is when Goodell tackles the psychological and cultural aspects of climate change. He describes the phenomenon of climate despair, where individuals become overwhelmed by the magnitude of the problem and feel powerless to affect change. He also scrutinizes how culture, ideology, and vested interests in the fossil fuel industry have created barriers to progress, leading to denialism and resistance to the transformative action needed. The narrative is interspersed with personal stories that bring the statistics and scientific projections to life, showing how individual lives are disrupted and forever altered by the relentless march of climate change. Goodell's ability to humanize the crisis serves as a poignant reminder of what is at stake, not just the environment, but the essence of our shared humanity and the future of our species. As the book draws to a close, Goodell leaves readers with a somber reflection on the choices that lie ahead. While there is still hope for mitigation and adaptation, he emphasizes that the cost of inaction will be measured not only in dollars, but in human lives and the permanent alteration of our planet's habitability. The Heat Will Kill You First is a compelling and sobering call to arms, urging readers to recognize the serious and immediate danger of rising heat due to climate change. It is an urgent plea for global awareness and action before it is too late to reverse the most severe consequences of a warming world. With a powerful combination of empirical evidence, 
expert testimony, and human stories, Goodell challenges society to confront the reality of climate change and work collaboratively towards a more sustainable and equitable future. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.